update your game. Oh, was there a bit of an update? So is this like a hotfix? Target, hotfix buddy. Ah, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's, let's check this out, guys. Wait. Fix an issue with Bloodseeker and Deadeye. Sometimes the Deadeye target is unreachable. In that case, Bloodseeker will attack the next best reachable target. Fix an issue where Clone would not equip some item in the combat. Okay, so now good stuff is just... If good stuff wasn't good before, it is good now. Arc Warden, they just... They just... I, I, I know this is a buff. Oh, sorry. I know this is a bug fix and not technically a buff. Game designers sometimes get a little triggered when, like, buffs and nerfs for them are intentional. But for us as players, like, we just don't care what the intention is, really. Whereas this isn't something... They didn't look at Arc Warden and be like, oh, we want this unit to be stronger. But for us, when we see this, I mean, this unit is significantly stronger. This was a, a crippling blow to the unit, and now it's insane. And H effects, counting for bench units for activating requirements. So Arc Warden's back to the single best unit in the game, straight up. Fix an issue with target buddy, wouldn't get bonus health from items, just bonus max HP. Okay, so that's a, a bug on basically Vanguard on target buddy. Doesn't really matter that much. Target buddy with big time contract if equipped, not, blooding, not buffing bloodbound units on death. Okay, so now you can run target buddy and put a contract on him to sacrifice for the value of another contract. Obviously, this is one of the strongest possible strategies in the game. And because of that, target buddy is just an auto pick. Um, I was trying to, I was trying to do some kind of lame sarcasm joke there. It didn't really work out. This is bad. Don't do that. Fixed ace effects, not fixed ace effects counting bench units for activation requirements. Okay, so that's that was obviously the bug. You guys, you guys, I didn't really want to like say it because I didn't know if they would fix it today, and I didn't want people to just bug abuse all over ladder. Um, but basically. If you have, like, it, before, for, for the past, like, 24 hours, if you had, like, Enigma on board and no Shaman on board, but a Shaman on bench, you have the Ace Effect online. This applies to all Ace Effects, and now they fixed it. So, um, this is, again, something that makes Arc Warden kind of more necessary. It looks like they're not doing rebalances here. Let's see. Uh, Ace Effect's not applying to summons. Does that matter? So, like, Troll Effect or Shamans? Wait, that makes Shaman even better. Now, now the shaman chickens will apply to summons. Did what? What the like, like okay. I know they're just fixing bugs, but like, I mean the the arc warden clone, the ace effects, the ace effects not applying to summons. Like this, all three of these just makes shamans and good stuff. Just all, each of them all buffs shamans good stuff. Fixed barricade sometimes not blocking the damage from range attacks. If a unit is within one cell of a barricade and the range attack passes through the barricade cell, the barricade takes damage rather than the unit. If the attack passes through multiple barricades, the barricade to cell centers closest to the line of attack takes damage. That doesn't really matter, right? Am I unless I'm misunderstanding that? Fixed the bug introduced in this update where modifiers were being removed on death. And this is another stuff that makes Strom and good stuff better. For example, so everything that's like everything going away on death. Is gone now. What we were talking about in the last game were like warlocks and every every like part of an ability that's attached to a hero that dies when it dies is now gone. Like I, I, I really do think after this bug fix, and I expect I expect balance patches, honestly, Thursday at the very, very, very latest, probably even I mean maybe before then. I think people are probably gonna start complaining. This strategy I've been forcing all day, where you just hard curve into four warlock good stuff with shamans. This hotfix is making this playstyle insane. Like, this is a tier above anything else. I think that it would have been nice if they put in a couple of balance tweaks in addition to this. This shit is gonna have to be fast patch on Tuesday or something. That's what I'm thinking. Like, this is... This is a very one-dimensional meta pretty fast. I, yeah, it would have been nice if they, if they had put, like a couple of balance tweaks in at the same time as this. Cause like the Warlocks and Shaman's good stuff are just too good, but I guess it'll come in a few days and I guess that's fine. Don't get me wrong, like, I mean, it, it's good that they're fixing the game. And I mean, I do, I do like the general changes, you know, bugs not being in the game is important, but these bugs were kind of inadvertently kind of keeping the, um, the meta unintentionally in check. And now it's it seems like this build is just gonna run rampant. We'll see, we'll see. But you can't reach top 100 in this meta? Really? 
I think I'll be pretty good in this meta. This is this is like this is the kind of playstyle I'm best at. Prior patch notes describe troll warlords change in attack time rather than attack rate. Ta change in attack rate is actually one to 0.77. So this is something I've repeated on the stream a few times. I think uh, when I first read it, it looked like his attack speed went up, but uh, it actually gets slower. Contract is still there to contest this. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you can run contract in the build though, right? I mean, contract on like a level two doom is fine. I think contract kind of exacerbates good stuff, right? Rather than anything else. So yeah, this is I think probably. Um, I mean, it's yeah. There's not there's not too much else going on here, right? It's just bug fixes. It's literal all bug fixes. No actual balance changes here, but some unintentional changes to um, how how balance ends up working.